what's up folks and welcome to x4 we're going to continue where we uh what semi left off we uh we kind of had a long time just spreading we are currently at 122 and hours man 81 hours in the last two weeks is insane but i'm trying to skip a lot of boring parts for you uh, we will get into missions uh somewhere in this week but um, after receiving some comments, uh, I think we are pretty sure on what ship we should be buying. But before we actually get started on that, I want to bring you to what we have done. First of all, I've, I've added a few numbers here, so that I know that they're on the top of here. Uh, we've added 14 ships over here, and it is uh, somewhat doing any, uh, something. As you can see, they're all mining. And silicon definitely is the one that is not doing the best, but that is also because we are taking it away. So what we have done, I've, I've removed all mining trade ships that I've added into, because I've been testing this out. Like if I added uh, mining ships to trade from the station, how would it work? And it actually, it did work well, but I kind of noticed that some of my stations which is receiving more materials than others and that is not something that i uh, really appreciated as for my trade hub let's just get my money out of here because it doesn't need money at all let's take a look over here we got silicon we got meth i'm sure we yeah there we go computer substrate this is great this is so incredibly good because i messed up and you probably noticed it but I didn't, I noticed it somewhere this week that I've built the wrong do uh, modules on my computer subject. I was actually making silicon carbine. So yeah, that made a lot of sense for me uh, overall. Uh, let's take a look. How is production of energy? Look at that. Capacity of my energy brand. We are finally lose, uh, using quite a bit here. Um, of course, you can't see it over here. Where is my logistics uh, economical settings so there's a lot of sell offers as you can see and we are still making it so that, that's good that's really good trade offer amount it is finally looking good really appreciate it let's go to the computer parts and storage yeah silicon and ore it seems to be a tiny bit of the problem but i'm thinking that is because all of my mining ships are in trading um that's a problem that definitely well maybe it is a problem but they should be going over there just to get all of those uh, resources now all we can probably just mine in the asteroid belt but you cannot really force them to do anything so I'd rather have them as traders. The gas uh, miners we do set up over here because there is more gases in the asteroid belt than there is in the void. So let's go towards the next one, the metallic. Uh, actually, do I have money in here? Oh, got a bunch of cash. Let's just do uh, 500,000. They don't really need money, but I, I kind of use it a bit as a, as a saving uh, area so I don't spend everything just because I kind of want to have something to do during my episode otherwise I will forget because I really love this game uh, let's get you as well and confirm that here we go We've got 26 million so we need to add more miners towards our computer that is going to go over here as well let's take a look how are you filling up then hmm we got a buttload of these guys, but I'm thinking they might just find themselves without docking. Hmm, not particularly sure on that, though. Not particularly sure. Let's see, what are you bringing? You bring nothing. Are you just getting here? Oh, wait a minute. I think they just... I, I, I send them over here just to start mining so there should be around 14 ships doing everything they want uh silicon or eventually they will fill up uh we just have to give it some time and see what will happen so let's go to the metallic micro lace factory how is that doing helium and ore all of them are doing well 
helium that will eventually increase. It was on zero and I think it took me about half an hour to just do fill this up. Yeah, I think it's well. Um, also, I've been tinkering my audio a tiny bit, so I'm sorry for that. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I didn't see if I um, I edit my compressors well enough. Sorry if it's messed up, but do, do let me know. Uh, silicon's still a bit low in this region. Do I have enough traders? Let's see. We got three of them going trading silicon. And they are going there. They are docking. As you see this mark, the auto trade mark, then it's not doing anything. And I... Actually, that is... Because of... What do you need? No, you still have plenty of methane. Uh, I, I want to remove the methane from the void so I can uh, change the liquid container into a solid container. Uh, so my miners could just fill that up even more if I let the game run. So yeah, we got plenty of money and it, it's, it's starting to look like a logistical nightmare. I also added in the description of last week's videos and all the videos is a uh, is a link to a stream of a Steam collection which should bring you to all the mods I'm using because I got one that um, also increases the uh, what kind of things you can do like um, where do you go? Factory transporter. So you can set it up to uh, just just make a massive route. Say you got a base all the way over here, uh, and you would never get enough out of your manager to actually get that. You can just set it up that it will tr travel all the way over there. Although I think it's kind of you know dumb. Uh, is this contested again? Because it doesn't seem like... Oh, actually, yeah, it does have the Terran colors. Now, if we find one that is unoccupied, then we will most likely claim it for ourselves and eventually start moving everything over there. We know that this works. So we can just set up a... Um, we could use our trade station to mine gases and just, you know, transport them over there. We could use large ships. There's there's a whole bunch of things we can do. I've read on the internet that people find it kind of a waste of time to do it like this. But I enjoy it. I enjoy the, the movement and seeing that all of that is mine, even though this is a highly contested area. And if we fly there, I'm sure that we'll be rich. Very, very rich. There's large ships here. The Avengers, two 9k destroyers. Yeah, it is definitely something we need. I think this one is in problems. Look at that. He is... Autonomous... Yeah, he's definitely having issues. He's, he's trying to get the hell out of there. So, wow. A lot of talking. I think we... Where, are, where am I? I'm over there in... Well, we don't need to. Well, we'll stay there for now. We are going to be buying our new ship. Yes, finally. After so many episodes, it is going to be time. So, um, I've asked you last week to tell me what kind of ship that we want. And I've let my eye also fall on this one. We have um, four frontal weapons over here. Uh, the gunboat just has one. And even though it is interesting to have all of those turrets, I'm... Um, I just know that turrets are, eh, you know, they, they are okay, but having a frontal weapon is always nice. This one is also having four frontal weapons, uh, but it just has two engines. I just like the idea that it was given as well. Like, if you use this one, you can actually have a wingman just sitting over here, just helping you in your fight. And I like that idea quite a bit. So we're going for the Corvette with the high preset so we'll have some very very strong weapons um, they are fixed so we definitely need to change how we respond because if we go to small and we go to the one that we have currently uh, on high preset it's just just 1.7 i think these are yeah there you can see they, they can actually move i don't think that is possible with the uh, medium ship now, I think it's definitely a fixed position. So, it, it is going to be getting... Uh, well, we need to get used to it. 
and we will we will so as our crew it is service and it is marine so if we find ourselves i don't know like a big ass battleship and why not uh defense drones yeah we can just fill that up uh as for my turrets defend me uh, because if if you say um like attack my current enemy oh it's now changed to current enemy. it used to be where you had your the the one ship you selected that started firing and that is usually you know not particularly what you want as you can see computer substrate is what we lack but it's not our problem it's going to be a very expensive little ship and rename ship using loadout name i preset why would we do that Okay, let's add this to the shopping list. We can uh, we can make one. Let's confirm this. And we're going to be bringing our ship that we uh, used to use. Because he's going with us. But we're going to be bringing him towards the shipping area as well. I think he should actually be there. And we're going to be upgrading the ship. And we're going to be selecting the high preset as well. And... Resource probe satellite, we get a police scanner. It removes the basic scanner. We remove three pulse laser and we get a kind of three different weapons. Oh, well, it's fine. We get one shield generator mark three. We get better thrusters, better engines. It looks overall very, very well. Do we want to add... Well, we have flares. I still need to find out how to actually use that. I know there's just a key for them. But, oh well, I'm dense. We all know this. We have a recruit of a marine. And I would like to get myself a service crewman as well. And the pilot. This guy is, is going to be defending us. So he will be attacking our target. So currently add all of this and confirm that order. That leaves us with about 12 million. Now this 12 million we're going to be spending over at... Where are you again? I believe it's Saturn. Yeah, Saturn. So let's go over here. I'm I'm so happy with the teleportation of my uh, of my guy. So I I, I mainly just drop ships Sentinel. in certain areas where I need to go and just transport myself over there. Uh, let's go over here. And I can't wait. I can't wait to actually see that new ship. Now you can also see there is 22 inactive missions. Uh, we'll go over that shortly. For now, let us go to the... We can actually go to the represent officer. There's nothing else we can do. Maybe the... Wait, could there be someone at the bar that we could use? I don't think so. Usually these are empty, but... You know, previously we, uh, we met a um, black market trader in the bar... And still, the game, it is, it's really good. I really am enjoying this game so much. I, I didn't believe it was possible. <laughs> it's a lot different from what I used to play. So anyways, let's get to the, um, to the representative office. We need to find a few others because we did increase ranks with more representatives. Anyone over here? No. Also, I don't like sprinting, hello. so hello there. Honor to see you here. Uh, we could do, like, the trade offers. Uh, but we, I believe they have all of the bases that I could visit. Um, I've placed satellites, so we might think about doing this with an area where we don't have all of that done. I believe you don't need to place like satellites. With purchasing the slider, the holster gains the ability to view all trade offers on stations belonging to the issuing faction, regardless of whether those stations are already known at the time of purchase or discovery later. If license holder reputation, of course, that is your standard. If your reputation becomes too low, this will be gone. And 12 mil 10 million, you know. Not a huge deal, but we're not here for that. Not you. yet. Let's go over the blueprints if there's anything we would like. So we got the production. We could take all of the production. I was also thinking about going into defense modules. They're not too def uh, expensive. 
But I think we need equipment first. Habitability, build. Take a look. We got none of the... Holy crap, look at how expensive that is. 232 million to get a XL Lodge shipping bay. So interesting for the future. We're not there yet. Let's see, any equipments? Like turrets? I think you can use these on your uh, stations as well. Like and shield generation. So eventually we do want to um, get all of this. These are actually not that expensive. Interesting. Why are these so... Why are these only... Oh, okay. Maybe we just need these. Yeah, look at the difference over there. Interesting. Why are they so cheap? I don't understand. Um... We're not going to look into these yet. I think uh, if we want something, I think we eventually want to have these for our stations. But let's get started with more production. All of this. So we'll get all of that at the cost of 6 million. Then we have all of the production modules from the Terran Empire. Let's confirm that. Good luck out there. And let's go back. To modules, build module. Yeah, we don't have any of that. That is fine. It's ship fabrication, storage. You know, I know it's not necessary, but I want to have everything. Habitability is of habitation is going to be expensive, eight million. So we'll get that later. Defensive modules. Look, the admin center is what you need to claim systems. Bridge defense and disks. Other modules. We got all of that. Docking modules. Still very expensive though. The Terran 4 dock pier, the 1 dock pier is... Mm, don't think that is what we need right now. We also build like these designs to actually make small ships. But, like I said, we don't make ships yet, so we don't need that. I'm kind of interested in seeing if they would have weapons. I don't think it is the case. Let's go confirm Good this. Let's go map, and we'll go plan build. Storage. Go over here. So, turrets. So, we definitely want to find ourselves at least a turret. And a medium shield. That is what we look for. Medium weapons, medium shields with the remaining finances that we have. That's 4 million. Is that still 4 million? It is just a bit more right now, which is fine. 5 million. It's medium awesome. shields and turrets. So equipment, turrets, medium. It doesn't have to be the most expensive right now. Like, we can go for barrage. And shield generators. I think we need a Terran one that actually specifically says Terran. Like shield 1 and 2. Mark, yeah, actually the Mark 2s. The Mark 1s we don't need right now. We'll, we'll get those later. Uh, because of the station using medium turrets and shields. Uh, I think we do want to get more of these weapons then. No, dump fire turret. I think these are missiles. I don't want missiles just yet. Dual poles. You know, we'll just leave it with one shield and one weapon. Let's confirm that. Okay. Now, can we actually... Put them onto the stations, or do I just need to do something else? Let's plan build. Let's go over here. And there we go. We got the barrage turrets and the shield stuff as well. And now it is actually becoming like a defensive place. You can actually increase it like this. And if we do that for everything, that is quite expensive, I think. We can save it. Uh, confirm loadout. How much would it need? 
if I confirm these changes. I'm not going to do that in this region because it's just made no sense to do that on those small. Oh, actually, these are small um, containers. Interesting. Uh, we are going to cancel module changes. I will want to discard them. Let's go towards our... Because this station could really use it. Not right now. We've not been attacked just yet. But eventually it might happen. These are large uh, storage modules. And actually it does use medium. So if I say I want high preset. That's a lot of turrets. A lot of shields. And I think we should be able to defend ourselves quite well with these. That means that we could probably think about claiming systems as well. So it is an interesting prospect to actually think about that and see what it is that we want. Now we're going, not going to be placing this. What we need to check is what do these things require. So the protein paste. Let's take a look. Protein paste needs... Ice. Ice and I think energy cells and methane. I really want to go into this and just, you know, for selling, it is really cheap right now to do so because we don't have to, you know, get building materials anymore. We can just do that without, but we'll do that on a different plot. I kind of hope that it didn't save that and it did not, so that's good news. Oh. <sighs> I think it's time. Guys, our ships are waiting. Let's go ahead and teleport towards our medium ship. Fox. Oh, Three, finally four. more seats. Oh, I'm going to love you. Uh, are you getting more rooms in this run just yet? Docking area then. Seriously, we need to get out by elevator. That's interesting. Okay, God, I lost my ship. Where are you? Uh, wrong button. Um, let's go over there. Okay, let's see how the hell we get out of this. So, that, uh, that should be another way, right? God, I'm lost in my own ship. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Way to go. Way to go. Let's go Terran Wharf area then. Oh, way better. Holy sh... Damn, guys. It's massive. Look at these weapons. I can't even see it. Whoa, it is huge. Okay, let's get out. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Get off my seat, dude. You, Hello. I don't need you. You look actually a lot like my former pilot. Let's go over here. And let us not get up. Let's undock. Oh, damn, this is good. Okay, let's go. Actually, that's the wrong one that I wanted. Ooh. Maybe I have to turn down the ambience. Look at those. <laughs> Oh, guys, this is amazing. Okay, let's slow down. And just just stay over there. Let's just stop. And let's get rid of, like, everything. Zoom out a bit. Because we need a new thumbnail, guys. Holy sh... That is really nice. Oh, that is so good looking. Let's see, I kind of don't want it to flip. That's why I don't like it with my mouse like that. I can't move it. Hopefully it's not going to be in it. You know, let's see if we can find ourselves a bit more enjoyable thing. Oh yeah, look at that, that flare on that. What we need, by the way, what we need is uh, we have progress, right? Let's go shift H, let's go map. And we're going to be telling this ship. To dock. Dock at current location. Uh, wrong button again. Oh, no, no. 
No, why do you do that? I wanted that good ass looking glare. Something like that. Oh yeah. So it's flying towards us already. Let me uh, make some screenshots here. Really love this. You know this game is particularly smoothing. If I'm stressed and I play this. It's actually you know helping me quite a bit. And it looks like the pilot is absolutely weird. So I wonder if he's going to be on it right now. Like let, let's increase a tiny bit. Keep making a few of them. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? No, what are you doing? No! <laughs> you idiot. Get away from my area, man. I'm going to making... Oh, that is so good looking. Look at that. Scroll out a bit. Go away with your bad boy ship. It looks so good. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's enough fun for me. That's 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 enough. Uh, let's go back to first person. So we now have that ship on top of us. And we can actually say that you are going to go attack with commander. But also we could say defend with commander. Uh, what it will do, and the mimic behavior is if, if one of the mod pack, or mods that I downloaded, um, which is, I believe, the civilian fleets. I'm not particularly sure how to use it yet, so if you know, I'm interested. I want you to be my defender alpha. So he is going to be in my fleet. And we're going to be renaming this fleet into um, dailies... Private fleet. Eventually we'll have more of them. So here we go. We have our daily pirate pirate fleet. Did I just change the name of my ship? I think I did. We need to change that back. Change the name to Daily's Private Fleet. And we can call we can call it the uh, the DPF. Let's call it DPF1. Just because everyone has this, this, this weird stuff. So we actually need like a little stripe in. I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm insane. Sorry for that. Let us rename you back to the Valks. And we are dead set and ready to go, guys. He is. Why are you not docked on me? He's just going to fly with us. And as you can see, it is, uh, it's fixed. Some of them aren't. So we need to remember that we do need a, a center point. Eventually, I would like to get myself a ship that does have a bit more maneuverability with those. But currently, we can actually now go. And let's take a look at missions. It's been a while now. Oh, yeah, these are all of the other missions. And basically, it says, well... Hey, you don't have cargo drones on uh, restock. And you. Uh, this one's going to say you don't have subordinates. Um, it wants a trade ship. And it wants us to get a extension of a solid cargo capacity. And it needs a mining ship for solids. And I don't know why it would need that. But I'm, I'm sure we need to transform. She wants my money. You greedy... You are just greedy. Uh, like silicon, cargo drones, assign uh, subordinates. Like, look at this. I want a liquid mining ship. Well, you're not getting him. I'm going to be the one that... But eventually, I, would, I do want to go with the mining stuff. And we now have a crown. Um, fleets. The one in charge. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get a crown. So let's go to important missions, and you can see we can go actually over here, and we could get our promotion with the Talati, and uh, we can do the season uh, assist, which is actually I need. I think I need three ships for those. So we'd either have to make one. So we're not going to do this one. We're going to continue once again back 
to the uh, Pirates Trill. So I will be buying some advanced satellites. And next time we can actually start with this. But what we will start with next time, of course, is going to be making yet another station to get ourselves into food production until everything is done. Let's set this to inactive so that it could go away. And we know that we need ice, and the void has ice, and I'm, I'm just worried about the gets of Foon, because we know there is a lot of ice, but we can now defend our stations. And if we can make that over here, we have ice, if we have ore, we have silicon, and we are doing the majority of the mining over here, and we look, let's look at the station. We need a lot more mining ships for this but i'm also thinking that they are lining up to dock so we'll think about that anyways thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time have a good one bye bye